Hey everybody, it's Ken Komet, condovoice.com. Thanks for joining me today. Today we're talking about rats in my garden. That's right, I caught them. Uh, I have this wonderful tool, it's called the Trail Cam. It's really cool. Um, you can hook it up on battery or AC power and you got your little memory card that goes in there and you just set it up at night or whenever you want. Put it on a place where you know it's gonna have the right angle toward what you're shooting at, what you're trying to capture, and just let it go. And it took a few nights, but here it is. I'm gonna insert that picture right here. You see my rat? He's eating the heart out of my Brussels sprouts. I mean, it's a big fat rat too. So anyway, <clears throat> I had a hunch and my hunch was confirmed. I didn't have any technical proof of it. I got proof of coyotes, raccoons, bunnies, um, possums and you know but I just didn't have any rat proof now I got rat proof now it's me against the rats this foods for my family not wildlife that's just the way it's gonna be so anyway I'm gonna show you real quick here how we're gonna take care of that problem and take care of it. you gotta think like a rat to take care of the rat problem stay tuned okay so the first thing I need is to know where my rats are well that's easy in the garden it's easy uh, some other places you might have to look for access tunnels. Uh, when you have a rat problem in a building, they call it rat exclusion. Okay, basically they're going to exclude the perimeter from any holes. So you want to cover up your holes. That's basically what, what's happening. And you'll look for little rub marks, little brown spots, little holes. These guys are mostly fur and when they take the fur off or you hold up a, a, a wet rat, you'll see how skinny it really is so it can get in and out of really tiny places. Anyway, out here, it's easy. So, um, what I come up with is my home DIY version of a rat bait station. Okay, it's right here. This is your basic four inch slotted, or not, uh, corrugated drainage pipe. You can get it at any hardware store um, or big box store. So, what I wanna show you is, so what we're gonna do is, you take a twisty tie, uh, a strip tie, I'm sorry, and you feed it through one of these holes, just like I did here. All right, you just feed it down through there. You pull it through and you want to cut these not too long but not too short because um, you want to be able to reach the thing that you're going to put in there and what you're going to put in there is this um, i use i don't know if i'm going to do commercial for this or not but it's it's a it's a somewhat i guess humane um, anyway it's the latest version that you can buy over the counter uh, and these are squares but the squares have holes in the middle of them so what I'm going to do is, I am going to, if I can do this in front of the camera with just two hands, I'm going to have to set it down to do it, but I'm going to feed the hole that's in the bait thing through the strip tie, and then you'll see as I do it. I'll try and show you right here. Right, here we go. So I pull up the strip tie, just get it started, just pinch it so I can grab it. Got my gloves on. Now I've got two in there. And then what I'm going to do is reach in there at my next slot, like this, push it up, pull it through. Then all I have to do is take, take this part. Now that I've pulled it all the way through like this, now I'm just going to feed it through the other end of my strip tie. And you'll hear the clicking. Okay, I'm just going to tighten it up. So if you look down the middle of this thing now, you can see I get my hand out of the back, you can see how there's two bait station, bait blocks hanging there, all right? And this four inch pipe, I like it because it's big enough for a rat, but it isn't big enough for like a raccoon or a bunny or something bigger. They're not gonna wanna fuss with this. So I feel pretty safe about leaving these around the yard. Um, and certainly no kids can get into it. And that's the key, you want to have the bait in the middle of this thing. So, you know, a tiny little arm can't reach in it. Now we don't have little kids, so I'm not worried about it. And if you are, get a longer piece of this because, you know, rats, when they smell food, they're gonna get it. And the further, but you're just gonna have to like, imagine how long your arm is, okay? Basically you could have, this is a cubit from the, from the elbow to I think your palm. So two cubits long is perfect. That's longer than what a child's cubit would be. Cubit's gonna be only half that. So they shouldn't be able to reach the bait pieces right in the middle of the tube. So the other thing you wanna do is you wanna put it, this guy, okay? Right in the same path, if you can, if you know where the rats are. Another thing you can do, you could just, Listen, rats come out at dusk and they're active during the night. 
So all you really have to do, like if you have a back porch or you have a shed or you have something, just sit out there with a lawn chair and a drink and just listen for them and you'll hear them, especially during dry periods, you can hear the leaves rustling. Uh, but you can actually almost watch them. Full moon, no problem. You know, different ways, you can just imagine, use your imagination, probably the best time is to be observing rats. And you could just watch where they run and they run, they're, they're creatures of a habit. They're gonna run over the same areas. They're gonna come right back to this plant. So they love this particular Brussels sprout. You see how the heart of it's eaten out of the middle of it? It's crazy. Anyway, so as you can see on my picture of my rat, He's just sitting right on top there, just nibbling as happy as he can be or she can be, just eating the heart out of my Brussels sprout. Now this Brussels sprout right here should have uh, buds coming out of it and it is pretty thick and healthy, but I think the rat chewing on it has stymied it quite a bit. So I'm sacrificing a Brussels sprout to catch me, to kill me a rat. And there's no laws against killing rats, by the way. There's no rat humane society or something like that. There's no rats are us gonna come and say, hey, what are you doing killing rats? That's crazy. Now, you know, like I said, this is gonna be up high. This is, this is a known rat habitat. Okay, I haven't seen any other animals this, up this high in my planters. That's why I have the raised planter so the bunnies can't get my plants and things like that. So I feel real safe about nothing else eating this bait because I have chickens. There's a chicken right here clucking around me right here, I, I let them uh, free roam. And I know they're not gonna get up here and eat this and they can't reach it anyway. So that's the thing, you wanna be responsible and safe as much as you can. You're really only trying to kill the rats and this is really a, the best way to do it. So now, last thing I'm gonna show you is you just gotta, I put two of these together like so, just piggyback them. Just watch your, get your threading going on the right way. Just start it. Okay, you got that on the wrong way. So, oh, that's right, I gotta get my, gotta line up my tabs to make sure that I hear that sound. There you go, okay, now it's grabbing. Okay, now I got that tight. And all I'm gonna do is just tie this on there really good and tight. You can see it. All right, so I'm just gonna pull that through. You can hear my chickens clucking. Hey, girls. And, uh, I'm going to set it just so there's enough room to get in here and enough room to get in there and then crank it down nice and tight because I'm going to cut this when I'm done and I'm good. So right there, I got my rat bait station and the next time they come over here to eat this uh, Brussels sprout, hopefully they'll smell that bat right and the bat um, rat bait, excuse me, and they won't resist it and they'll come and take a little chibble off that and go back to the Brussels sprouts. Anyway, we won't be eating any of these Brussels sprouts, that's for sure but um, I think I'm good here. So DIY rat bait stations. Um, be responsible, be careful, watch out for other wildlife, try and reduce uh, incidentals, uh, unintended kills as much as possible. But bottom line is this, is this is food that's taken me two months to grow and it's important you know, to me and my family. So the food wins, my family wins, the rats lose. And this is how you do it. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Come on down to condovoice.com. We are all about helping you solve problems, whether it's in your garden, whether it's in the backyard of your HOA, a little cubby, some people have fenced in areas. Some, you know, these things can go just about anywhere. And, you know, let me just say a, a point about, real quick, about HOA and condo. Most of the time, okay, if something's getting in from the outside, all right, it's gonna be an association problem. So if there's, if there's rats, squirrels, uh, mice, things like that that get into a building. Once it gets past the envelope of that building, all right, now it's into the interior part. So, you know, a lot of things get resolved as to who's responsible for what based on the definition in the, in the documents, the governing restrictions, deed restrictions of the condo docs. But um, when it comes to rodents, nine times out of 10, it's gonna be the association. And the association, because the, the envelope is usually the association. All right, they're, they're gonna find a little piece of wood, a little piece of stucco, a little piece of soffit, a little piece of something to get in and out of. That's usually gonna be association property. And if there's a breach in it, then the association's gotta come in and take care of it. You gotta hire somebody to go in and do all this. So I caution you against doing your own DIY. This is preventative, really it is, when you think about it. They make commercial bait stations. So on a commercial property, I know condos are residential and HOH, but really treat them as a commercial application. This is my home, 
Okay, so that's why I'm doing this. And in a home situation where you've got your own just personal liability at risk, okay, that's a risk that I can take. Um, but in a condo, buy the commercial rat bait stations, fill them up, hire a professional pest control company to come in and do it. Um, actually, I've had professional pest control companies come in and install these on my properties. So I know that they're legal. I just not sure the you know the liability comfort level of one company versus another and what bait stations they're comfortable using but leave it up to them that's what their insurance is for um, so on a homeowner level you can do what you want like in an HOA you can certainly do these I think without any liability um, high-rise building uh, things like that uh, dumpster trash rooms things like that I would go with the commercial bait station and just have your maintenance guy uh, or your pest control guy they actually have keys on them you can unlock, little, little special keys, plastic keys, they pop open. They're kind of hard to do though, I will tell you that. I've, I've had those too and sometimes they're just a pain. But um, they make them difficult for a reason, so they don't want kids getting into them and stuff like that. Or animals, uh, like dogs, pets, things like that. Um, so that's the deal. There's your homeowner version, your HOA condo version. Uh, this is all about rats and protecting your property, keeping them out of your home so you can live peacefully, so I can grow vegetables, so we're all good. All right, thanks for, again, thanks for coming down to condovoice.com. Thanks for watching these videos. You all take care. Have a blessed day.